I know there's a sparkle there. I know it. It's on the other side though, I think, so... Yeah. If we miss a step, we're finished. You might say enemies popping up at a time like this? Did they really have to make this level harder? Who's they? <laughs> Ow! Wow! You can actually If we miss a step, wow. we're finished. Enemies popping up at a time like this? Did they really have to make this level harder? Who's they? Super Rays! Okay, made it. <laughs> okay, Super Rays. Number of Mono Coins obtained increases greatly. Ooh. Wait, I think I accidentally unequipped that. Yeah, I did. Um, order lock, I don't need that. Cool. Hang on a second. Yeah. I'm getting worried for some reason. That should be on. I don't know why that isn't. There we go. Should be Katurko. Oh no, Jatara. Hey kids. Oh boy. Ah, it's blood! Blood! <laughs> oh, I was so shocked I really drew out that last word. Hey, Toko. What? Did you find it? I did, but what should I do? It's laying on the floor. It's looking at me. You don't have to give me the details. If you don't think it'll work. But if we give up now, we won't be able to get through. And then all the people of the town might end up like this. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. Please don't tell me I'm ripping out the eye. It's done. What's that paper bag? No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, probably better if you don't. Did I remove the whole head? Okay, let's head back to the retinal scanning place. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, can I go back in? No, got you it. You pale. Are you okay? Not really. Oh, actually, never mind. I know you're not. It's gonna give me like monokumas and stuff still. Yep, babe. Moving across a steel frame while pushing over mechanical bears. This is getting crazy. Yeah, very crazy. Oh, well, okay. Can I even get this? No, I can't. My health is full anyway. Hi, G. Got your dad. He's in a paper bag. Let's just save. Quang. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking it out of the bag. Uh, I don't want to look. Yeah, you do it. You hurry up and do it already. Don't rush me. That's traumatic. It worked. That's good. Uh, I'll toss it away. We don't need it anymore, right? Just, just throw it. No, no, no! I, I can't. I'll get divine punishment. Divine punishment, sensing <laughs> ghosts. That's enough of your occult stories. 
Divine punishment is a fiction the living created. The dead have no power. That might be true, but... Miss. <laughs> oh! It comes Tinker? back into play. Did you say something? Huh? I didn't say anything. The we actually get to hear our hearing ghosts. For some reason, I thought I heard a voice. I was just telling you to stop with that stuff. Miss. Miss. Oh, boy. See? I heard a... Whoa, what was wrong with Kamara's face? Um, go back to that point and look at Kamaru's face. What? What happened? What are you shouting about all of a sudden? G -g 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 ghost! The ghost of a severed head! I told you, now's not the time for fooling around. I'm serious! Miss, you're horrible. Throwing my uh. away like that. I, I dropped it on accident. I didn't mean to. Huh? I, I, I'm really sorry. I apologize. Please, don't curse me. This is getting me. weird. Curse you. There's no way I'd do something so lonely. I just want you to listen. Okay, I'll listen. L listen? Kamaru, get a hold of yourself. You're hallucinating. My name is Tokuichi Toa. I was the chairman of Toa Group in the past. Uh, I know. You're Mr. Haiji's father, right? Uh... I see. You know Haiji. I knew it! Then do you know his little sister, Monica? I too? knew it! Code it! <laughs> little sister... Monica? Monica is a mage. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Lil Ultimate Homeroom. So the chairman and the Haiji did the that to her. And Mr. Haiji are siblings? Hmm. So you do know about Monica. In that case, I can get right to the point. I beg you, no matter what, using any means necessary, stop Monica from going out of control. If you let her do this, the name of Toa will be finished. This is bad. Kamaru's chatting up an illusion. I gotta bring her back to her senses. The ungrateful child. She forgets she is in my debt for taking her in. And revolts against me. Taking her in? That whelp's mother was my mistress. But that bitch abandoned her responsibility. And forced Monica on me when she was a baby. But isn't a father expected to raise his own child? If her mother wasn't going to raise her, I wouldn't have tolerated the pregnancy at all. That's horrible. I even let her stay in our home and raised her. I could have easily left her in an orphanage. But that child made me end up like this. She killed her own father. It's all that woman's fault. She's the one who made Monica insane. I knew something was wrong the moment I noticed Monica growing more rebellious. Wait, that woman? Even thinking about her horrifies me. Hmm? The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! <laughs> <laughs> Why did it actually work? I beg you, please stop, Monica! Avenge me! Wow. Toko, what are you doing? I was just about to hear something important. Phew. Looks like you're back to your senses. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> There's no way that stupid chant would work on a real ghost. You are dreaming it. Dreaming? But he told me a lot of things. About the Toa family. Oh, it was all just a delusion. Really? 
but delusion? Look, you're tired. Dream about stuff when you're in bed after this is all over. But I don't. I, I'm scared. I don't trust this anymore. <laughs> I, I still don't get it. But okay. Okay, now we can continue. Ghosts and shit. Go. Are you here? This place is um a little weird. Hey, how are ya? Careful! The tricky one came out! to read the minds of homicidal bears. Oh, robots. Okay, I'm, I'm expecting there's gonna be more around this area, so I'm just gonna look around. It, was, it seems I'm already at the next area, so I may as well just try. Yep, there's that thing I could have found before. Uh, but Luke Ocean's mug is, looks like so ugly. No filter is gonna make that face look pretty. That's why he's profile big as his dog. I'm telling you, our patterns just don't match. Seriously, it doesn't make any sense at all. Navy knee high looks skinny. I'm so jealous. What? Oh. Hi. Tragedy. Hey kids. Those who dream of Mario's throat. I shouldn't have had that dream. If I'm only thinking it would make it so housy that would be. When you think about something like that, how are you supposed to feel? To keep myself from thinking like that, I'll just keep trudging along with my head down. Though she has finally fulfilled her long-desired dream to become a novelist, Memorial Muto's talent has dried up in less than two years. Her dream, her money, her life, and the encounter too frail to call fate. Which reminds me... I need to ask you something important. Hmm? Something important? Um... We are, you know, friends, right? And friends discuss things like hope and dreams, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't mess why with me! Why do you me. sound... Why don't you sound sure? Am I wrong? Um... Well, then, there are different forms of friendship, after all. Anyway, I realize that I don't know your dream. So tell me, what's your embarrassing dream for the future? 
Uh, well, it's not like outside of the town is peaceful, so it might not really matter what my dream is. What? What are you embarrassed or something? Well, a little. Oh, aren't my old dream? Aren't old dreams a little embarrassing? No. A dream for the future is greedy. It's embarrassing for me to think that far. <laughs> oh, just say it for already. I won't laugh. <laughs> You're definitely gonna laugh. Don't mess with but me. I said I won't, so I won't. Just say it already. I promise you won't make fun of me. <sighs> Jeez, you persistent, I promise. Um... Okay, I've been thinking about it on and off since middle school. I want to be a manga artist. No. Or, I think that, like, it might be nice to be one. I see. I see, that is very you. Why would you be quiet? Uh... You're really gonna make fun of me for that? Uh, you, well, you won't, won't change... change my opinion that manga is trash. But I told you I won't make fun of you. And besides, the desire to be something is admirable. I would never make fun of that. Toko! What? You're creeping me out. It's nothing. I'm just, I'm glad... just glad that no. you're my friend. <laughs> if I ever draw manga, I want you to be the first one to read it. I can't imagine the day would come that I actually read a manga. <gasps> Do you mean... Anyway, manga or novels, none of that is going to get done unless we get out of this town. So let's hurry and finish this. Yeah, as long as we're together, everything will turn out right. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, so we're back here, which means I didn't go that other path. So that's that. Okay, so that's everything that's here, I think. gonna be like a puzzle room. Yep. The game corner again? Over there! Someone's hanging from the ceiling! Oh, Katoko! I have to find the uh the student. I will complete this one. Girl, what is she doing? Ah, you two, please help me! These perverted bear robots are gonna gang up on me! Ignore her. No. There's no way I can do that. You're too trusting. She's that perverted girl who took away your virginity. <laughs> He's still saying that. What? No, she didn't. You heard her. I'm not going to kill them! 
going to stop them. When the Beast Monokumas are focused on her, that's your chance. Oh boy. What are you doing? So it seems they didn't get to complete this one. That sucks. I'm never going to be able to complete one of those. So annoying. Ah, I'm glad. Even the worthy Homer sometimes nods. Did I use that proverb right? I almost never say stuff like that, so I'm not sure. <laughs> then don't say it. But just because you're not used to it doesn't mean you should give up. Like those tentacles. Ah! Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, out of context. Hey, why are you getting attacked? It is highly unfortunate, but it appears I too have been betrayed. <laughs> For being so unfortunate, you sure seem nonchalant about it. Well, this is an act too. If I stop acting, it would be bad. I would lose my cool like some miserable wretch. To put this much effort into betraying me, I'm boiling with anger. You're talking about Monica, right? Yes, she said it herself. She doesn't care about paradise and never has. She was tricking us with all her talk about succeeding the will of Big Sis Junko. She even took advantage of the hope Big Sis Junko gave us. And she made everyone in the Warriors of Hope fight. No, more than that. Remember after I lost to you two? I got ambushed by Monokuma kids? I think that was her doing. Masaru and Jotaro probably ended up the same way. She didn't just betray the Warriors of Hope. She wanted to kill us. She didn't believe in friendship, or effort, or victory. The children's paradise we dreamed of, it was never gonna happen. From the very beginning. I figured that. If that's true, then what is she really after? I'm not sure. But she said something about the successor to Junko and Oshima or something. A successor? She's twisting this whole situation to make a kingdom for herself. Not a paradise for all. And as queen of her little kingdom, she probably wants to be the pampered successor. She's seriously the worst! She should just choke on a bowl of pill and die! That's one way to die. Hey, Toko, what do you think? I think I'd prefer to check on Piss. <laughs> Kidding. Well, first off, I still don't think we can trust her. Saying things like, I was betrayed. She probably just wants us to let our guard down. Look, I'm completely unarmed. See? Huh? Hey, stop. If you still don't trust me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The whereabouts of that big fat liar, Monica. She should be inside the Excalibur, anchored at the rooftop helicopter port. The Excalibur? It's that big airship thingy you so courageously jumped out of. It's on top of Toa Hills. If you know where she is, why don't you go find her yourself? Well, I was planning to do just that, but that's when I got jumped by these Monokumas! The device that controls the Monokumas, is that in this Excalibur thing too? I'm guessing that liar poophead Monica is holding on to it! She's controlling the Monokumas! Jeez, her stupid magic! Getting all carried away with that controller! You should snatch it from her! Then, you can give it to me for safekeeping! S safekeeping? You're just as bad as Monica! And more importantly, where's the hostage from Future Foundation? This is crucial. You mean that blonde guy who looks like he has really pretty nipples? Yeah, that's him! No doubt about it. Master has to have beautiful nipples! Wow. Okay. The master you're talking about is in the storage room on the top floor of Toa Hills. But... The key to that room is in that liar poophead bitch Monica's pocket! And all I gotta do is strip that rat down and snag that key! Yeah! And after she's stripped down, bury her legs and let starving dogs come eat her! You don't have to go that far! All we have to do is make her give us the key. Yeah, maybe do what she said as well, but who knows. Oh, you're so kind, miss! But remember, the device that 
controls the Monokumas, just leave it to me. You can trust me with it. After all, I don't hate adults anymore. They're not demons to me, not one bit. Now then, good day. Good day. Good day? Where is she going? She doesn't hate the adults anymore, huh? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You aren't that good at acting. Maybe we shouldn't have saved someone like her. Right now, we know where we need to go. So let's get to the roof already. Before there are more victims, we have to stop the kids and adults from fighting. Kamaru, your eyes are scary. Huh? I told you before, Master comes first. But if we can save the city while we're at it... But... but got it. Got it. Oh, done already? Yeah, we're done already. Don't worry. Quick and easy cleaning technique. Rooms are said to be a mirror of your mental spirit. If the room is messy, your mental hygiene is not very good either. But if you're always busy in your everyday life and have no time to spend for cleaning, this book is the perfect cleaning book for you. With the godly skill of cleaning that only lasts five minutes per day, your room can once again be your sanctuary. I'm an annoying woman, aren't I? Where did this come from? Let's be honest, I'm annoying, right? Uh, maybe. That's right, I knew it. I'm an annoying woman. I'm scared that Master might hate me. Toko! No, it'll be alright. If you don't want to seem as annoying, all you have to do is remember the three don'ts. <gasps> three don'ts? Amazing. That's right, just keep the three don'ts in mind and you'll never think you're annoying. But that's... What is the magic you speak of? What are the three things? Tell me, woman. The first one is don't want. If you say want, this or that, boys will think you're demanding. If you want them to do something for you, first you must be a woman worth doing something for. The second is don't be greedy. If it's true, it is, it's true. It is a woman's nature to never be satisfied and always want more. But you have to fight those urges to be the ideal Japanese woman. Amazing! And the third is don't last long. You have to give off an aura that makes boys think that you have to take your quick. They have to take you quick or you'll disappear. If you have that attitude, guys will stop paying attention to you all the time. What's going on? Sounds simple enough, but how do you know this stuff? <laughs> well, to be honest, I just came up with the three don'ts myself. I used to give love advice on the internet all the time. <laughs> uh, you virgin! You're a virgin! How are you going to give advice like that? I thought you said that kind of experience doesn't matter. Chastity is virtue. Don't mess with me. Chastity is virtue. All right, now it isn't. Not right now, it isn't. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm loving these random things. Okay. Okay, that's that. So let's save. Now let's go up. How much longer until we get to the roof? We've climbed pretty high. Can't be too far away. Perfect. Which floor are we on? He will not tell me. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Cool, it's... Ooh. Well, that's a pretty creepy door. What should we do? What should we do? Are you actually planning to open this obviously creepy looking door? Yes. <laughs> I mean, there might be something important or useful in here. 
Maybe. I'm not gonna help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time. Don't say that. It's scary. What is this? Oh, this is where Monica was before. That's why I warned you. God, jeez. Let's get outside. Wait. This is... Um... Does that say my name? Kamaru Makoto? What is this? It's written in blood. They're letters, right? Hey, Togo, can you take a look at the... Hey, Haiji. <laughs> Don't scare me like that! If you were gonna tag along with us, make your presence known! Jeez! So... It was here. Um... Mr. Haiji? You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Torture? You guys saw that broadcast too, right? Someone help! That's my wife! Oh. To try and flush us out from the base, those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. It actually had the opposite effect, though. We were all too afraid to come out. A despair inducing idea. Someone with experience must have planned it. You understand now, right? This room, it represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base, their loved ones were killed right here. All of them? It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Then. Those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah so? Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? Well, capable or not, that's what happened! And that's why we can't show any mercy! Not anymore! I'll never forgive those bastards! NEVER! This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but... Those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Let's just go. <laughs> but... Toko... Shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Off? The victims are all relatives of the people at the secret base. Doesn't that seem strange? No matter how smart those brats might be, how could they possibly learn who they all were? Jeez, things are starting to get fishy. But we've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. You're right, no choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haiji's okay. I'm a little worried that Haiji is actually working worrying about other with people. Monica. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself.
Well, that didn't work. Yakia is nearby. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. His aromatic sweet fragrance is getting stronger. You mean his B.O. is getting stronger? Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. But then again, a smelly master is good too. That itself is a reward for us. Us? You're including me in this? Anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. But first we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it, right? But before we go, let me nourish myself. <sighs> um. Okay. Turco is, um, very unique. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs>